Hey guys, what's going on, dudes? It is David here, and we are back with another video. Now, in this video, guys, we're going to be previewing the Darlington race. Now, I know you guys will probably only think Darlington. Wait, that's not that's not for another week. Yes, we're going to get this video up a, a very much early, and then we will review this Sunday the final race of the iRacing Pro Invitational race that will be happening. Now, this race will be happening at the Newark Willsboro Speedway. Which doesn't look like they're probably gonna have any races soon in real life at the actual track, but they were able to sit, you know, get it, get it tracked down basically, and now they're gonna race at it. So when it comes to the past few winners, William Byron, it's gonna be tough because William Byron's never, never seen that track. He's never, well, he's seen the track. He's never raced on that track before, so it's gonna be very, very new to him. But for guys like I would probably say like Jimmy Johnson, possibly Matt Kenton, now that he's in the 42 car. It could be a very good opportunity for them. But in today's video, we're going to be previewing the first race back for NASCAR. That will be the Darlington 400, which will be on Sunday. It will be a week from this Sunday. And who do I think is going to win this Darlington race? Who won the last year's Darlington race? It's not going to be that person. It's not going to be that person. When it comes to the, this Darlington race, it's going to be very, very interesting because this is going to be the first race back since NASCAR postponed the series. And it's gonna be the first race, be first race back, first race without fans. So this is gonna be very, very interesting. This is gonna be a lot interesting to see in terms of how NASCAR does this because they're gonna have no fans. They're gonna have the pit crews. They're gonna have some people from the Fox Sports, Fox Media, Fo Fox Broadcasting area. I mean, when it came to the I Racing Pro Invitational event, it was really the broadcast team that was like bringing the excitement. Clint Boyer, ooh man, I can't wait to see Clint Boyer back in the race car. Hopefully, Clint Boyer is back this weekend for the, the final. Provocational event because Clint Boyer brought the excitement to that race. But in terms of this race, I just really think that it's going to be kind of weird seeing, hearing. I mean, this this is going to be really the moment where you know how in Fox they have that crank it up moment. This is really going to be the opportunity where you actually hear that because you're you're not going to hear any fans like be like boo or cheer if anything happens, any any dirty driving happens, which I probably don't think happens. Darlington. It's a very, very weird track, so it's going to be interesting to see. Of course, this is not going to be the throwback paint scheme weekend. That'll be later in September, but this will be the first of the Darlington races for the Cup Series. The second one will probably will be taking place on the Wednesday after after the Sunday. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see that they. I mean, when it comes to the Cup teams, they after that first Darlington race, they're going to be like, all right, you know, this is what we can change with the car. This is what we can do to fix the car. And then by Wednesday, they should. Some teams that may that may have had a bad running at Darlington will have a good running in the Wednesday race. But in terms of the likely favorites to win this Darlington race, I say Kyle Busch is up there, Jimmy Johnson is actually up there, Chase Elliott's up there, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, all all those good guys that you probably think are going to be in contention to win this race. But when it comes to the actual winner, who I think. Um, I think it will actually be Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski is going to be the get, the first guy to win since NASCAR has been back, and the first guy to make history in a while. He's going to be, Brad Keselowski is going to be the first NASCAR driver to win without the fans being there. Can you? Can, is that is that history? I actually have no idea. Is that actually history? Because if that's history, that's actually kind of amazing. Brad Keselowski is going to win this because Brad Keselowski is in this contract year, which means this is his last season before he's a free agent. So he's gonna want to go out there. He's gonna want to show off, and I feel like he's gonna very, very. He's gonna, he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna dominate Darlington, but I think he's gonna be right up there. I think he's gonna lead a lot of laps, and I think Keselowski is gonna come away with this win because he's gonna show everyone that he can still win. Of course, everybody knows Keselowski can still win, but he's gonna prove to them. He's gonna prove to every single team that has not given. Well, every single team is probably considering him. But he's going to prove to every single team why he should be one of their drivers. Why he should be one of the top drivers in NASCAR and one of the highest paid drivers in NASCAR. Because Brad Keselowski is one of the greatest drivers in NASCAR right now. And that's why I think he's going to win this race. He's going to... I don't really think, like I said before, he's not going to lead a lot of laps. But what I do think is that's going to happen is that he's going to be right there towards the end. He's going to have a good run probably in stage number one. 
and then kind of drop back in stage number two, and then um, towards the end of stage number three, which is obviously the final stage, he'll be right there towards the end, have a very good car. He'll probably get get the lead with about, I say, about 20, 25, 20 laps left to go. Go on, lead the rest of this race, win this race, and yeah, that's what I think it's going to be. When it comes to the top five for this race, I think it's going to be Brad Keselowski winning this race. I think it's going to be Jimmy Johnson finishing second, Kyle Busch finishing in third, Chase Elliott fourth, Joey Logano fifth, and that's the top five, I think. Now, how many cautions do I think there are going to be? It's Darlington. It's the first race back. There could be some tempers that, are, that, that could be settled out there in the real life race. And to be honest, you got you to gotta already mention that the 42 car will not be driven by the person who shall not, who, who shall not, not be named. And it will be driven by Matt Kenseth. So that's going to be very, very interesting. You got Bubba Wallace, and then you got Clint Boyer, who's got some history. You got John Hunter Nemechek, and you got Denny Hamlin, who got into in this past week in the Dover race in iRacing. And then you, you, got a, you got a lot of rivalries that could be possibly taken into real life, but uh, I don't think it will. But in terms of the cautions, I think there'll probably be around eight to nine cautions um, during this whole race. I think that somebody surprisingly is going to win one of the stages. I probably think it's going to be stage number two. It's going to be won by a surprise driver, a driver that, that that doesn't normally run up front. And yeah, in the end, Keselowski is going to end up winning this race, and I think that's going to be the end of it. And then they will move. Well, they will move on to the Wednesday race where somebody else could win. I guess I should preview the Wednesday race too because that is a part of Darlington. I don't think Keselowski is going to go back to back in with the Darlington race. I think the guy that finished his second is going to win the second Darlington race because he's going to learn from, you know, like watching and being in there. He, he's going to learn from be like being close to the top five, being running second in the first Darlington race. And he's going to have the experience enough to bounce back and Jimmy Johnson will be winning the second race in the Darlington, you know, like the Darlington schedule. And then after that, it'll be Charlotte and we'll see what happens from there. But... Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. But anyway guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.